This lesson is presented to learn more about the relationship between personality and sports, their intrinsic relationship, and how they interact with each other. Now, your book presents plenty of examples of how an individual's personality can be shaped by participating in sports and how participating in sports can shape an individual's personality. In general, this video will focus more on how behaviors are viewed from a psychological perspective in exercise and sports environments. Psychology research studies and sports psychology textbooks alike talk about the fact that the majority of athletes or exercisers will choose the type of sport or activity of their preference based on their personality. That is, if someone is introverted, patient, or calm, they will most likely choose sports like tennis, golf, or another type of sport or activity where they can practice and maybe play on their own. Other individuals may be more outspoken, competitive, driven, and even maybe a little aggressive, and this type of personality will prefer contact sports perhaps, or team sports. In other words, individuals will most likely choose a type of sport or activity that will make them feel comfortable with all of the demands, requirements, and the nature of the sport of their choosing. At an age we could call very young, it's very common to see young children experimenting with different types of sports or activities like soccer, basketball, baseball, swimming, tennis, etc until they decide to keep practicing the sport in which they are more skillful and they feel more comfortable with it. Some of them may have the right disposition, character, and motivation to train, practice, and even compete in a particular sport without any particular problems. In this type of situation, there is a direct relationship between the individual's personality and the nature of the sport or activity of their choosing. Most likely, these individuals will practice the sport with more enjoyment, and they'll feel more confident with their skills, especially if they become more successful. Even if it means that they're not competing at a professional or amateur level, they can have that feeling of fulfillment or satisfaction every time that they participate or practice their sport or activity. In contrast, there are some other occurrences or factors that could influence an individual's decisions to practice a specific sport or activity, and in some instances, this individual's personality might not even be congruent with the expected type of personality that best suits the sport. For example, when a football player is required to be aggressive on the field, but is known as a calm or quiet type personality away from competition, Another example includes those situations whereby parents expect or guilt or demand their children practice a specific type of sport because their own success or because, on the other hand, they were a complete failure. In this case, they want their children to become what they could never be, regardless of their children's personality, skills, likes, or dislikes. One good example of this situation is Andre Agassi's autobiography in which he explains that he literally hated tennis and everything related to the sport for years. And his father was the one who wanted him to become a professional tennis player. Agassi states that it was not until it was almost time for his retirement where he developed a sincere love for the sport. He not only returned to being number one in the rankings in 1991, but he also played very well during the next and last four years of his career. Another interesting aspect of how an individual's personality is shaped by the sport or activity that they practice or choose is when they seem to have a completely different personality from what's expected from sports psychologists, textbooks, or even coaches and fans. So, in other words, they may have a passive type B personality and yet practice within or as part of a team doing a contact sport. An example of this could be Joe DiMaggio, a very successful baseball player. And he was a celebrity in his own right, and yet he is well known for his shy and quiet personality. But DiMaggio was a unique sample of someone who was able to somewhat adapt his own personality in order to adopt the necessary traits to be able to deal with the pressures of the sport, the fame, and everything else that brought him into the spotlight. On the other hand, participating in a specific type of sport might also have a strong influence on an individual's personality. For example, we have recently seen an increase of obesity among children, teenagers, and adults in the United States. This type of situation might be the result of a wide range of personal, professional, cultural, or even health problems or conditions and situations. 
However, it's still up to the individual to choose a healthier life and healthier regimen. Other personality types might be active or, again, not active for other reasons tied to their psychology or maybe from situations that are complicated in their social life. It really depends on who we're talking about. So enrolling in a fitness club or hiring a personal trainer or deciding to practice a team sport, running, swimming, or whatever, taking a bike ride, their participation also has important considerations for the coach. Another interesting dynamic in which sports shape someone's personality are those times when individuals who maybe have aggressive or hard to control personalities find their way in sports and they channel this aggression towards something much more positive and productive. In addition, sports can provide a completely different lifestyle with more opportunities to young talented kids or individuals who live in various socioeconomic areas. Sports can also provide at-risk or underprivileged youth with another option or chance to get good education like secondary education through scholarships or grants. And in doing so, these participants might adopt specific personality traits as a result. These personality traits may not only help them become successful in sports, they will also help them in their careers and throughout their lives. Next, it's time to talk about special populations. Now, consider the senior population. A few decades ago, a 60-year-old individual might have been considered a pretty old, fragile, and maybe even sick or unhealthy person with just a few more years to live a somewhat good, conservative life. Nowadays, we have seen a dramatic change in this perception, and more than ever, we're looking at healthier, stronger, and very motivated 60, 70, and even 80-year-old individuals who perform all kinds of sports and maintain an overall healthy lifestyle. So there is no doubt that physical activity and sports have helped shape this new personality and approach that's been adopted by the senior population. For them, exercise and sports or participating in activities most certainly brings a new meaning to their lives, particularly because they live and experience the benefits of exercising on a regular or daily basis. Therefore, their personalities and psychological states might be completely different from that of a 60-year-old senior stereotype from a few decades ago or one currently who doesn't get any exercise or physical activity. So there is this intrinsic relationship between personality and sport. In addition, sports are also a major influence on an individual's personality and overall lifestyle. Anyone working in the sports and exercise fields must commit to the study that's required to be competent or able to coach and care for individuals with their health and fitness goals in order to live healthier, longer lives. Knowing some of the background and psychology involved in participating allows us to better understand our client or athlete and their needs. Essentially, from this chapter and section in your book, you should be looking to identify your role in understanding personality and considering both personality traits and situations. This includes being informed, a good communicator, and being a good observer. You also want to be aware of different mental strategies that are used in exercise and sports psychology.